It's been a long day so far, and we got a long way to go. And Jerry, you were talking about the stor storm surge. We want to go now to Beaufort County, where the storm surge could be an issue a little bit later tonight along the Pamlico and the Tar Rivers. Not on your sides, Angie Casada is in Beaufort County, actually in the city of Washington this afternoon. And Angie, uh, what can you see out there? What are the conditions right now? Ken, you know, when we first got here to Washington, it was almost that real eerie feeling that there was a calmness over Washington. It was very light sprinkles of rain here and there, and a lot of folks were acting like it was normal. They were driving by. I think I could count about 11 dogs that have been out here on the boardwalk walking, and a lot of people were just coming in their cars, driving by the waterfront just to see how the conditions are, how to, how the water's uh, just pertaining here on the boardwalk. Now, behind me, you can see the skies are real calm. The Waters are calm. We haven't had any water um, come up here on to the actual, you know, boardwalk. But earlier today, we actually saw a bunch of uh, crews coming together. The uh, the utility trucks, as well as um, you know, emergency response teams and law enforcement, as well as tree trimmers, they were coming together just to get ready for what's to come. And they're expected to to get pretty hard, uh, you know, conditions later on tonight. But you know, a lot of law enforcement and just a lot of the uh, town leaders here. Washington um, kept emphasizing that they're prepared, they're ready to come together uh, to take on whatever they can. I actually spoke with Councilman William Pitt. He uh, mentioned that, you know, again, the city of the town of Washington, I'm sorry, is, is just ready to take on what Dorian has. And our plan basically is uh, number one is we want no one to get hurt, and number two is we want to make sure the city comes back together as soon as possible after this event. We've lowered the one of the main pumping stations. We've lowered down the level of water. We're asking folks not to drive, not to be out traveling today. We want everybody to stay safe. Uh, community being on the water, we're going to we're going to see some flooding. We know that. But if folks would just stay home, if they need to get some information, do the do the routes. Do the social media, do now on your side, and hopefully everybody will come through this a little bit wetter, but we will come through as a community. And Ken, you know, I get it. You know, the waterfront is a beautiful view. I'm over here looking out into the distance in the trees and the way these gray skies are. It, it does, there's some beauty to it, but they want you to take heed into the situation. This is serious. Um, Hurricane Dorian is a strong storm, and they want folks to really listen to this. There's a lot of areas here that are prone to flooding. Earlier today, we saw parks that pretty much the parking lot was full of water, and kids were still out there playing at the playground. But um, we just want to make sure that folks are listening to law enforcement and just staying home tonight it's there is a curfew there is a curfew until nine o'clock so we're just we're waiting it's it's again it's an eerie feeling but as so far everything's calm we're getting a few showers here and there but we're waiting it out Ken Angie you've been busy across Beaufort County today a little bit earlier you were out east along US 264 in Bath and Bellhaven and you shared some video in Bellhaven of the main street there uh, near the Bellhaven Memorial Museum kind of being a little inundated in water uh, they expected that in Bellhaven. Have you seen anything like that across Washington so far tonight? So, Ken, so far right now we haven't. Um, in Bellhaven, it was Main Street, like you said, that was uh, filled with water. But here in Washington, what we're noticing off of Park Avenue and East Main Street over there, there's actually a park there, Haven Park, that has been taking on a lot of water from the waterfront there. The parking lot is completely filled, um, and they definitely shut that down as soon as possible. But as far as the other areas, we haven't noticed any flooding yet. But thankfully, it's really calm, honestly. And, and they're not expecting things to get uh, more active until maybe around later on tonight, around 9 o'clock. All right, Angie Casala reporting. Thank you so much, Angie. Animal Control Office.